Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Baldur's World. Today we're in Orlando, Florida, and today we're reviewing a hotel. We're reviewing the Drury Plaza Hotel Orlando near Disney Springs. Yes, it's a long title, but it's actually a super clean hotel, and I want to give you an idea of what to expect when you're here. If you're looking to stay here, honestly, Disney Springs is like, I don't know, a mile, half mile walk from here, so you can walk there or you want to drive there, you can. They do have parking here if you want to do that. You do pay for the parking. But there's a lot of parking options here, so you have any problems there. Inside, when you go in, very friendly staff at check-in, no matter when you come, so that's very helpful. But uh, you probably want to see what's inside. Oh, if you're going to be flying in on a nice traffic day, it's about 25 minutes from the airport. On a not good traffic day, it's going to be a bit longer, so have a heads up for that. Now, the check-in process is very easy, whether it's late night or early morning. Nice staff, super friendly, all kinds of information here in the lobby. Nice big lobby. The bar and kitchen, there's one of that's the evening bar you can go to. They also have the little marketplace down there. So if you want to get a pizza, if you want to get microwave food, I'll show you have microwaves upstairs. Uh, if you want to get drinks, they have that for you. If you need a shirt, you need something last minute, they have it all there. Feminine hygiene products, it's all there for you. However, remember, we're by Disney and they don't want you to miss Disney. So they still have kind of Disney prices, not totally Disney prices, but you get the idea what I'm talking about. Another thing that's nice is when you're down here, over by the concierge desk, you go around there, there's an arcade, which I'll show you in the later I'll talk about. But there's a concierge, and right by there, there's actually a coffee stand that's available all day long. So if you don't want to wait in lines and just want to grab a cup before you know, to go out to the parks, they have that for you, okay? But let's go check out some of the fun stuff, like the pool. Now, another important thing to remember when you're coming in here, and if you don't want to go out to the amusement parks, the Epcots, and all those things, they do have a nice big pool here if you are here at the Drury. Can't complain, water is pretty nice. It's a big size, lots of space, lots of seats. Oddly enough, they're not all filled with towels in the morning, so that's nice, so you do have that option. One of the bars is right over there. There's seating areas, there's food you can order to bring out, so that's kind of nice too, so you do have options when you are here for things to do, so that's a nice thing about the hotel. But let's be honest, you're going to a hotel, you wanna know what it's like in the room, so uh, we're gonna to have to hop in one of these three elevators to go up there, and I'll, I'll talk about the elevators in a bit, but let's go show you my room. Look, oh, 13th floor. Ooh, no 13th floor. All right, let's go inside and see what the rooms are like. Well, here I actually rented a uh, king size room. It's a king single. So you got my king size bed, just like in a normal hotel room. And look, a bathroom. My goodness, it's like you've never seen these things before. But showing the room, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to start with the bathroom here. One of the things I thought was very interesting was their placement of the shampoo and body wash and conditioner. It's right underneath the shower head, and it's not a super powerful shower. I'm going to tell you that. I am on the top floor, so that probably influences it. But it's very odd that every time you take a handful of shampoo or a whatever a conditioner, you also get a handful of water. So it kind of makes that odd. Plenty of towels were given. The towels were very clean, comfortable kind of things. That was nice. I will say this hotel spotless i actually told the people working here i said this is the cleanest drew i've ever been in got plenty of room for all your stuff so you're gonna brush your teeth maybe shade put in your contacts they all that for you uh they do have the down below doo -doo -doo. you've got your little head dryer there they do have that i did not have a curling iron so if you're looking for that you might want to bring that with you now when you're coming out of the bathroom you'll notice you do have a nice big fridge there's nothing in there so you have to worry about the kids eating anything and spending money you got a microwave you got a safe so you can use those uh, one thing is they do have laundry here on premises. It's two dollars to do a laundry uh, and also another two dollars to dry it. That's on the second floor. You can have that. You do have a very, very small shelving space here. So there's not a ton there for you. You do have an ironing board and an iron. So that, that's nice. If you want to kind of look nice or if you're going to go over to Disney Springs, because I mean, honestly, I walked over there. It's you know not even a mile to get to most of the stuff. Now, things you really want to know. Jocelyn always wants to know. Full length mirror. Well, it's a three quarter mirror. So I, I guess we're almost there. So there is that. Um, the bed itself, this is a relatively new hotel. It's a lot, I think it's only a few years old. This bed though, I can tell that a lot of families come here, the kids jump on the beds. Not the most comfy thing, okay? Now you have a nice little, little set here. You can sit down if you wanna chat with your loved ones that you're not going to the pool or any other cool stuff. Got a little workspace here. Another place, you know, if anybody actually uses those, please in the comments below, tell me, do you actually use, put your clothes in there? I always feel weird doing that. A uh, little desk here, I will say the desk, how the plugs are set up makes it a little hard. I have a very tiny service. 
and I can get work done. If I had a bigger laptop, that would not be comfortable. But if you're coming to Orlando, you're probably not coming for that. Overall, the room, they have been plenty of plugs. All the spots have, you know, the, the double plugs. They should have a USB plug on it too. Uh, so that's nice. Now, if you need ice, there's ice down the halls. That's nice. There's an ice machine there. Uh, there was no vending machines on the floors. You have to go down to that market down, uh, the little market shop down on the ground floor to go there to buy stuff. Um, so there's a heads up there. One thing I will say is there's two towers here you're going to go up. And each of those towers have like three elevators. And so I'm on the 15th floor. So it's 15 floors and only three elevators for 15 floors. So sometimes it does take a little time to get up here to your room and get down from your room. So if you're going to meet people, maybe you live, leave a minute early. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it is something that you do kind of wait a little bit. The elevators are fast, though, so that helps out. Um, also, if you're coming here, since Drury Plaza hotels, you know, kind of tend to be popped for conventions, they do have a small convention space here. I'm actually here for a convention uh, conference here, and it's, you know, the typical conference rooms there. So we need to get some work done when you are here. You want to know what the Internet's like here at the Drury Plaza Hotel Orlando near Disney Springs? Yeah. So I just did this one, 68, down, 68 megabyte downloads and 89 megabytes uploads. So it is fast during the day. Other times of the day, we can check it out. It might be different, but here during the day, midday, those are pretty dang good speeds. I mean, I wish I got that in my house. Uh, so if you want to do streaming, you want to do stuff with the kids, they can watch their movies. They can all have their own iPods, iPads, phones, do their own thing, and you don't have to worry about any of the buffering. So that's nice. When I guess maybe it's not as good late at night when there's all the families back, but during the day worked out pretty well. And if you want to get in shape, they do have a gym here. I was yes, the treadmills, the ellipticals. There's also dumbbells and some other things you can work out when you are here. So that is an option. It also is super clean. They've got towels in there. They've got yoga mats too. So if you want to work out, you can do that here too. One thing I'd tell you, parking here, you do pay for your parking here. But if you want to drive to Disney Springs, Disney Springs is free to park if you're going over there. And they just keep it on your bill here with the parking. So you don't have to like pay every single time. You just go in and you get checked in. So that's very nice. The front desk staff, they were very friendly when I checked in. I got in at 1 o'clock in the morning, and they were just as friendly at 10 a.m. in the morning when I talked to them again, so that was very nice. When I checked in, they gave me like all kinds of information. The brochure here for discounts on things at Disney Springs, what's going on, things you can do there. So that was really cool. Also, they do have a lot of amenities when you come here because they know there's families are trying to save money because everyone's already spending boatloads of bucks at Disney and Universal and SeaWorld and all these things. So breakfast is free, and the breakfast... Actually, for a massive hotel that has tons of tourists, it's pretty straightforward. The eggs are fine. You have know, the eggs, biscuits, gravy, sausage, fruit, cereals, coffees, drinks. They have that, so that's kind of an easy thing to do. But there's multiple lines, so you actually have space. I was kind of surprised how busy it is. But I really didn't have to wait to get any food, so that was cool. Also, in the afternoon at 5.30, they have drinks. You can go have drinks and snacks there if you don't want to spend money. Like last night they had baked potatoes and hot dogs and stuff for like uh, snacks and food stuff. And you get three drinks per person. So, I mean, three one ounce shots of scotch doesn't do much, but it's at least free. That was nice. And so there's people there. It's also still clean. That's nice. They have two bars when you're here. Uh, when I'm here, one's open until five. The other's from five on. One's by the, the pool here. One's not by the pool. It's, it's in the lounge area. So they have that. So that's kind of cool. They do have room service. So you can order room service. If you want to have it brought to your room. Honestly, if you want Uber Eats, you want anything, there's so many restaurants around here that'll deliver to you or you can go to. It's not a problem at all. And one thing for the families that are here, another thing they have from four to eight, they have soda and popcorn for free. So if you want to get some soda and get some popcorn, maybe you want to stay in tonight and save some money and watch Moana instead of going to see Moana for $3,000 or whatever it is to go to Disney these days, you can do that here. So there are a lot of things they're doing to try to help out. I think one of the nice things, they actually have an arcade here. Um, where you kids can go play. It has video games there. They can do they have the pop shot thing. So if you want to go play, you can do that. So that's a nice thing that's here. Also, if you need to get tickets, they have a concierge service here that can help hook you up with that. So that's nice. And also, there's a shuttle that'll take you to Disney here too. So you don't have to deal with the parking there as well. So overall, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Orlando. I'm not going to lie to you. I would not be coming here if it wasn't for this conference. But I'll tell you, this hotel, all the Drury plazas I've stayed in, this has been quite a, this has been definitely the cleanest one. Definitely the cleanest one I've been to. Um, bed, not the comfiest. But overall, it's a fine stay. If you're going to want to stay by Disney Springs, it's not bad. So I hope that helps. If you want to know more about other hotels, check out some of our other reviews on Walter's World Shorts. And uh, we'll see you later. And I'll say bye from here in Orlando, Florida. At the Drury 
Plaza Hotel Orlando near Disney Springs. Mouthful.